Hey guys, I'm at the Comfort Market, found some new vending machines. What do they got? We've got Kanzaki Aging Beef. It's a hamburger vending machine. This fellow right here, he's got the Aging Beef. A bunch of different types. This one, you get three of them, 120 grams for 1,400. Let's do that one. Number seven. Alrighty. That was pretty nice looking. I like the packaging, gold packaging. Fancy. All right. And what do we have next door here at this machine? This is a, it's an airplane. Are these in-flight meals? Is that what's going on? Five different types, it looks like. What's available? It's just, oh, just three and nine. So this one, there's a, it's a bacon spaghetti. And this one, some kind of meat and potato dish. It's a bit pricey. Let's get this, let's get the spaghetti, the bacon spaghetti. It looks good for $6.50. Pretty good look at it there. There we go, it's in the light. It's like a lot of vegetables in there. Interesting looking. Ooh, we got some more machines here. In fact, got a whole room full of them. Oh yeah. It's a vending machine select shop. Oh yeah. Let's get in there. Looking good. Oh, look at all these machines. Oh yeah, meat, meat, meat. Woo, look at that shrimp right there. Gotta get that. Nice, huh? Raw cashew nuts, roasted cashew nuts, kimchi. Ooh. This place is popping. Oh, there's Hikaki, and there's Japan's number one YouTuber. He's been here. There is again. Yeah, if Hikakin gives it a thumbs up, you know you can trust it as being good stuff. Oh, here's my favorite Karubi beef short ribs. Nice. More meats here. Nice looking meats. Look at that. How about a raw egg on top of ground beef? No, thank you. Yeah, got the dumplings here. Ooh, that looks good. Chimaki. Egg rolls. Look at these. Oh, fancy dumplings. Nice, we got some wonton. Oh, no way, scones. Butter chicken curry doria. Let's start out with the seafood, shall we? Some shrimp right here. This is the one I'm after. Number 10, is it available? Number 10, yes it is, for 900 yen. They got a little video playing here too. Does it show their products? Yes. Okay, 
moving on. What's next? What's next? Oh, I gotta get my favorite. Beef short ribs. You definitely gotta get that. For how much is it? 300 grams for 1350. Okay. 1350. Let's get the right number here. Number four. Okay. Ooh, this one's heavy. It was a big thump. You'll have to wait to see this one. How about this right here? These rice balls wrapped in leaves. These are exotic. I think that's either Taiwanese or Korean. Taiwanese, I think. It's got the good taste guarantee for 800. Okay. Let's do it. What is that, number nine? I think this was on it. Was that on it? It fell off. Yeah. It came down so hard it knocked the wrapper off of it. Wrapped in leaves. Fancy, fancy. Okay. What else, what else? Scones. Let's do some scones. These are cashew nut scones. I like the icing on top, that looks good. Two for 500 yen. It's number six. It's available. Coming down. I got dumplings instead. So you have to specify which machine. That's okay though, I wanna try these. These look really good. All right, take two. Let's do this again. It's machine number one. So you gotta specify which machine. Okay, now we're good. Number six for 500 yen. I think there's some discounts being applied here. It says 400. Yeah, but you get a picture of the item here so you can make sure what you're getting. All right, fair enough. Woohoo, scones! Happy dining sweets. All right, let's do one more, shall we? The butter chicken curry dodia. It's number five, 780 yen. Let's put the money in first. Five, six, seven, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. Number one machine. Number five. It's gonna work. Yes. Comes in a square box. What do we have here? Oh, a machine that sells juices? Hmm. Okay, ooh, this is a modern one. Oh, interesting, huh? Cold pressed juices and salads in containers. This is a first, oh my goodness. Some more juices here. Interesting. Hard boiled eggs. There's a sweet potato. And what are those? Handy soup. Those are soups in bags that you can just drink out of. Interesting, huh? Yeah. It's called La Sante. Very interesting. I think the salads, though, the shelf life's gonna be what? Half a day or something? That's all you're gonna get out of them. But pretty interesting. And the payment options are credit card, you need the app, you can't put cash in it. And then you got chopsticks and plastic bags here. Interesting menu system it's got too. Yeah, and you get the video plan. Yeah. 
fresh fruits, look at those apricots. Japan Agriculture is uh, running this machine, I guess, huh? Oh, what do we have here? Cans of what? It says Namakuri. Namakuri is fresh cream. Now here's a look at it. So I think it's cream and cake in a can. It's a dessert item for sure. Not a beverage. So you just pop the top and I don't know, put a spoon in it and you're good. 780, a little pricey, but eh, you know, desserts are important. Gotta have dessert. Sixty, seventy, and eighty. We're good. What number? Got to be number six, doesn't it? Oh boy, this is exciting. Ooh, hoo -hoo, there it is. Comes with the spoon. Looky here. Is this really a banana vending machine? <laughs> oh my goodness. This machine sells only bananas. Go bananas. Oh, cute character, huh? By Dole Sweetio. Number six. Banana time! Oh yeah. It's a little bit green yet, huh? Guess it'll last a few days. Oops, wrong door. That's the toilet. All right, I am back. Today I'm being joined by the meerkat. That's our mascot. And who are you again? Mega Rancy Founder. And some people say that they can't understand you when you say your name because you say it so fast. So, is there another way we could show them? That's me, Eric Surf Six. There it is. He is the Mega Brain. And he is our mascot, the Meerkat. We've had this guy for what, three or four years? We got him in one of the lucky bags. So, all right, we are almost ready to eat. We just got to set up the table, get some drinks, and party. All right, chow time. Are you hungry? I'm hungry. Hungry. Starving? Starving. Cheers. Cheers. To you, team, get some. I'm having water. I'm having milk. Milk and water. Okay. We have got quite a spread this evening. Yes, we do. It's very meat heavy. Different world foods, I think. Yeah. yeah. So where do you want to start? I'll leave it to you. You're the guest. Guest of honor, Mega Brain 6100. <laughs> Let's go with this one. Oh, good choice. That is the beef short ribs from their Korean style. So it's marinated in lots of goodness. But it's bone in, which is nice. Are you ready? Let's do it. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, delicious. We used to have these in Hawaii. We used to barbecue these things. Popular food in Hawaii. Korean short ribs. And you got to eat all of it. Get everything off the bone. All the fat, all of it. Oh, yeah. It's so juicy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's it. All the way down to the bone. Clean bone club. That's what you gotta do. You gotta just get all of it off of there. Yeah. Let's do the hamburger. They're calling me out. Not sure. Oh, it's juicy. Look at that. Ooh. That is some juicy beef there. And that came in a three pack. As you can see there, it was three. And typically hamburger is served this way. This is the way you eat hamburger as a patty, as opposed to 
a burger with a bun. Yeah. Right? It's very common. And then you'll have a side of rice or something. Ready? Let's do it. Oh. Mm. Wow. That is beefy. Beefy and super juicy, huh? Some nice flavors going on. Oh. I think I would rather eat it this way than with a bun because you're not going to taste the meat as much. It's just, yeah, it's better with the, the bun. You think? Yeah. This one? Which is a pasta dish and it's got a bunch of bacon. I'm going to say mostly bacon. And there's some okra. What else? Corn on top, mushrooms. And yeah, quite a variety of stuff tonight. This is good. It's sometimes difficult to find all these different types of varieties but there were so many machines at that first place it was just wow you know that's it's a jackpot to see that many machines in one place for sure mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. mushrooms i got all mushrooms in my first bite A lot of mushrooms. How about you? Did you get any mushrooms? You avoid the mushrooms. I got no? some. <laughs> <laughs> and what is it? There's this is beef tongue, I think, in here. What is that? It's crunchy. Crunchy. Beef heart, maybe? Maybe. Well, chicken heart? Beef, I think. Yeah. That's good. And then the bacon. It's hearty spaghetti for sure. Nice to have lots of toppings. Or just things mixed in. And the overall flavor of the pasta, it's uh, it's fairly bland, right? Yeah. Which is good. As you can taste the vegetables in the and the meats. Get into the chef's salad here. I think it's mostly bean sprouts, huh? Yeah. I see a lot of bean sprouts. There's a lot of ingredients and there's meat in here as well too. Carrots, peppers, it looks like some, maybe komatsuna, mustard, spinach. And today's salad is served. This is hot, right? Is it's it hot? hot? I think so. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a stir fry. Oh, yum. Tasty. This is a meal in itself, isn't it? Yeah. Mmm. Mostly vegetables, but quite a bit of meat, too. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> nice. Nice combo of stuff. Homemade. And I'm tasting that like a sesame dressing on it. Yeah. Stir fried in a sesame dressing. What do you want to do? Dodia? Yeah. Dodia there with a bunch of cheese on top. You've got some out of here. We can show you what's underneath the cheese here. Okay, and you can see it's the yellow rice. What is that on top? Is it bacon again? That's the cheese. We'll let you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is Indian style. It's saffron rice. Yeah? Yeah. Can you taste it? It's like an Indian curry powder. Pretty good. Yeah. Nice flavor. And there's a bit of spice. That's the spiciest dish so far, wouldn't you say? Yeah. So moving on, let's do the gyoza dumplings next. And these are just massive, about twice the size of a regular gyoza. It's the size of my hand, basically. I'm gonna open this up a little bit just to see what's inside. Looks like the pork, the, uh, what do you call that? The pork. <laughs> <laughs> 
minced pork. That's what I was trying to say. With the need out of the onions, small onions. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good. Love me some gozo. Right? It's good. It's really good with ramen, but you can eat gozo with anything. It's Yeah. You can pretty much just have it with any meal. It's a nice side dish. And this is what? Two bites? It's two bites or three? It's two big bites. Mm-hmm. No way you're going to get that in one bite. No way. No way. And gyoza's different. Wherever you go, it's different, isn't it? It's different. That's the thing about gyoza. Let's do the ebi chili, I think, next. It's more sauce than it is shrimp, I think. Korean style, and it's got a name in Korean. It's called... Can you read it? Yan Yom Seu. Yam Yom Seu. Did I get it? No. <laughs> okay. I'm going to put extra sauce on mine. Is the sauce boss? It smells like kimchi going in. Oh, and this is served as a salad. It's served cold. This is raw it's shrimp. Real. Is that right, Korean people? Is this supposed to be raw? This is raw shrimp. <coughs> I like it. It's pretty spicy. <laughs> it's really spicy. Oh, wow, what a bizarre way to eat shrimp. But yeah. that kind of threw me that it's, it's raw shrimp. Yeah. It's not cooked. All right. I mean, I've eaten shrimp a lot of times at sushi places, right? The amaebi, the little small ones. You can eat it raw. You definitely can. But I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, and it's hot. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Let's get some of the, this is called chimaki. The rice is cooked, it sits inside of the leaf. Go ahead, unwrap it. <coughs> it's a giant leaf. Oh my <coughs> goodness. <laughs> it's, like, oh, it's got a couple of leaves. Look at that. There it is. Looks like it's got some azuki beans in it. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Look at that. Okay, and typically in Japan, the rice dishes or the noodles usually come last. So I think it's good that we save this for the end. Although we do have dessert coming up as well, too. Nice flavor. Yeah. It's meaty. It's sticky. Oh. <laughs> There's a shrimp inside. Shrimp? Yeah. Mmm. I'm tasting like pork. I guess it's yeah, a bunch of stuff happening. It's very flavorful. Yeah. Because it's, you know, basically... See, there, look at this chashi right there. Big piece of pork. I think this is the Chinese style, or Taiwanese style. But the chimaki is available in right, lots of different parts of Asia. That is really good. I've had chimaki before, but this one has got a lot of flavor in it. And everything today came from vending machines, except for the chef salad. And our drink, the water and the milk, of course. Yeah. This is the main event right here, the namakuri. It's cake in a can from a vending machine, right? But it's cream. So namakuri means fresh cream. So let's do that. And you open the uh, scones here. If it's too rich, this, this cream, then we're gonna have it together with scones, which to me are always really dry. Yeah. And what is it? What type of scones are these? Nuts, I believe, right? Yeah. Some kind of nuts. And we've also got a banana <laughs> from a vending machine. Oh my gosh. Beautiful looking banana, huh? Is it a rubber banana? No, it's not a rubber yeah. banana. It's a real banana. Beautiful color. Okay, so let's get in for the rare cream. Rare cream? I guess that's what it is, right? With no preservatives, rare cream, fresh cream, and 
Is there cake in it too? Is there cake? Ready? Oh. <laughs> that is delicious. Mm. I didn't get any cake in that first bite. Well, it seems like you can see it there. Huh. Going deeper. Oh my gosh. That's just like eating really heavy, thick whipped cream. That's what it's like, isn't it? Yeah. How about right there? Here's some, I can see it right there. There's some cake. Right there. See it? There is cake it. in here. Oh, it's better with cake. Mm. <laughs> wow. That is really tasty. Bizarre, huh? It's delicious. Cake in a can. Cream in a can. Okay, let's do the scones. The scones look fabulous. Look at this. This looks beautiful. Now this out of the package, you got to see this. Look at that scone. That is gorgeous looking. Beautiful looking scone. Got icing on it. Have you had scones before? I haven't. Okay. Scones are English. Lots of nuts. Oh my gosh, there's nuts in here. Look at all the nuts in there. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's salty. It is salty. <laughs> and it's, it's not dry, it's moist. What kind of nuts are those? Are those macadamia nuts? Maybe cashews? No, it's the nuts that are salty. Tell you what, let's get some cream on here. <laughs> to go with the saltiness, yeah. let's get some sweetness. How about that? Oh! Mmm. Oh, that is so good. Oh, that is so good. More and more. Fresh cream on scones. I mean, it's got icing on it. It doesn't really need it. Wow. Since we have it. Oh, wow. Best scones ever. What do you think? It's banging, huh? It's banging. No ice cream necessary, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Oh, show them how to peel a banana? Okay. You know how to peel a banana, right? Yeah. Fine. From this end? No. From this end? No. That's right. You don't peel from the ends. Monkeys, this end. Strange humans, this end. Cool people, right in the middle. You just massage it a little bit and then, right there, pop it open. There you go. And let's do it <laughs> properly here. <laughs> Everybody knows what a banana tastes like. <clears throat> but a banana with fresh cream. Woo! Oh! Wow. Best dessert ever. Cake and cream from a vending machine, fresh cream. It's so thick, and I mean, how many, how many calories? 42,600, no, I don't know, a lot. There's a lot of calories in there. Yeah, so that is gonna do it for this one. Pretty tasty meal. Yeah. So on the rating scale, the mega head rating scale, from one to six, where are you gonna go today? What do you think? I'm gonna go five. Five out of six, he says. Okay. What did you like the best? I liked the, this one. Oh, the short ribs, yeah. yeah. Those are really good. And we've got plenty left to chow on. I think I like the chimaki the best. The chimaki or the dodia, the Indian style dodia. Those are both really good dishes.
The gyoza was really tasty. Yeah. The shrimp, I hope we're going to be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we're going to be okay. We ate raw shrimp, cold raw Korean shrimp. What's it called again? Yan Yong Su. Okay, I will not eat that again. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting, though. Maybe I'll d develop a taste for it at some point. But you know what? I think it was a six. I'm going to go full six today. I think everything was fabulous. Full of flavor. Nice variety of dishes. And the dessert was banging. I mean, but the whole thing all, all together was lit, for sure. So there's going to be a giveaway. We're giving away three of the Get Some Snack Packs. All you guys have to do is put a comment down below on this video, and we'll announce three winners in the very next Eric Meal Time. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always, we look forward to reading those comments. We will see you in the next one. Eric and Mega, out of here.